will it be possible to integrate the other emulators in the Pandora Box interface? So you boot up the box normally and you can play, let's say, Amiga games directly? Probably not. Emulator list is hard-coded into the game menu. However, there may be a way of tricking one certain pre-built emulator to start another emulator instead. But not yet. Is it possible to swap emulators? The NES emulator kinda sucks. Let's say use RetroArch for NES and DC. Swap emulators? You cannot swap existing ones. Yet. Add or start newer ones. Possible to start alternative menus and launch all your emula emula emulators from there. Is it possible to configure existing emulators? I'm thinking about adding 4 play support for the crappy Raycast emulator that comes with the box. Configure existing emulators? No! But C number 2, so yes. You're right, mate. Will the jailbreak update older PG3D boards, or is that required to be done first? The jailbreak will most likely work with older boards. Uh, we've tested on the 1.3 and 1.4 GBBBB 3000 variants. Will it be possible to make button configurations for each game? Let's say you configure buttons for NHL 99, NCT4. Then that layout is only specific for NHL 99. Buy a game configuration? If you have a new emulator and it supports per game configuration, then yes! You can do pretty much anything! Alright mate, um, we'll install in a backup from a newer Pandora Games 3D. Uh, fix another Pandora 3D, the slightly older firmware. I have one with firmware from August 2019 that runs all the 8 and 16-bit consoles like crap. But I have one from firmware from October that runs them all great. Just wondering if it's possible to update that older version. It's possible to swap out some firmware. We've uh, successfully upgraded a 2019 firmware to a 2021 Flash Key 7 firmware to the Pandora Games 3D. You may lose some access to the online store and also the games that are on your SD. Oh, hello, Imrachekia. Regarding the jailbreak, what hardware is required? USB stick, micro SD card. What emulators will be used? How long does the jailbreak last? And what to do in case of a brick? Oh, hello to you too! What do you need? Uh, you need a USB stick, you need a backup, and a mail-to-mail -mail USB cable. If you want to restore your firmware, you can actually add any emulator you like. Uh, the jailbreak is more of a starting point for you to add your own software or configuration. Uh, the jailbreak works like once per boot, so you can either boot with the USB inserted or insert it after the boot. If you break your machine, well, you can restore it with your backup using the ADB in recovery mode. Bye!